The Hollands woman is ambitious. That's what is expected of us. What it is is that we are ambitious in becoming our own selves, our own creative selves, and we affect the world around us, and then they look at us and say, that is a fantastic group of women. Those are ambitious women who are going places. What you did was make this your own. Everything at Holland's is about empowering you and giving you the ability to do things that at other universities you wouldn't be able to do, at least until you were a senior, if you were able to do it at all. So coming here and suddenly having the sisterhood in this community, and sisterhood sounds really trite when you're talking about a women's college. You really do expect everyone to just say, the sisterhood, the sisterhood. But you get on this campus and you feel it. You don't come here just expecting to sit in a classroom for four years and that's it. If people do come here thinking that, they end up changing their mind because they realize there are all of these opportunities to really foster their interest, their love of something. Holland just embraces the idea that you can be whoever you want to be and it's just such an accepting and awesome place to go to school. Well, what first made me really interested in Holland's was the great internship program as well as the study abroad opportunities. J-Term is a great opportunity. It's a four-week session. In my sophomore year, I did an internship. Last year, I studied abroad in Rome, and then this year, I was in New York. St. John was a fantastic experience. We spent 10 days hiking and snorkeling and counting coral health and sea urchins and had a blast. It was a great group of people, biology and ecology majors, and we had a really wonderful time. This past January, I actually interned in New York City at Estee Lauder in the Global Communications Department with alum Alexandra Trower. The breast cancer awareness campaign at Estee Lauder is really the heart and soul of what we do philanthropically. In part, thanks to Kelsey's great work, our campaign is stronger and better and more impactful than ever. And so I spent my January living in Richmond with an alumna. She was a 2008 alumna. She already owned her house and had an extra bedroom that she put me up in for completely for free out of just the generosity of her heart. And I was interning with another alumna, Betsy B. Carr. She is a delegate in the Virginia House of Delegates. And so Holland does a really good job with connecting us to those alumna that are there not only to provide internships, but to provide career counseling and just to create a, a community so that we really have homes wherever we go after Holland. Holland's women are phenomenal networkers. That's how the alums reach out. It has now been seven years, and I have hosted, over that time, 10 students. They spend their week at the Cleveland Playhouse, and they have had the most phenomenal experiences. This past summer, I had an internship with Simon & Schuster Publishing, which is related to my creative writing major. And I really enjoyed that because then I got to meet some of my favorite writers and just really know uh, what goes on behind the scenes in the young adult world. Alors, et pendant les voyages, est-ce qu'il y avait des choses intéressantes? What Holland's does is very special, I believe, in the abroad experience because when you hit the ground in either Paris or London, there is someone there who meets you from the program, from the Holland's program. They make sure that you get to your homestay, and Holland's has its own teachers its own classes and its own classrooms. My internship in London, I got to work at the Westminster Archives and that was spectacular. I got to pass by the London Eye, Big Ben, Parliament, and Westminster Abbey on my way to work. And it was, it was fabulous. <laughs> the scale of religiosity, it's towards the more traditional, the more fervent. I think something that you see with a lot of Holland's women is that we have very diverse interests and the way that our education requirements are structured, you have an opportunity to really explore those. And so instead of having all these general education requirement courses that take up your first two years here, you're really able to try things. Barn swallows like to nest in the rafters of barns and also nest in the rafters of the bridges. I love being outside and recognizing the different innate values and how ecological systems work together. And then of course here at Holland's in the classroom with Renee, I have that moment like every day. And I love being able to research more about it and following my passions. And I'm always encouraged every step of the way. It's like, you want to write a paper on what? Fish mucus? Okay, sure. Let's see what you can do with that. 
And then I come back with this great paper and she's like, oh, okay, yeah, that's actually pretty cool. And we're also really big on hands-on research. So I've done multiple research projects, both for one semester studies and independent research projects over the J term, so one month projects. And in labs, we've set up our own projects many times. It's very hands-on, lots of research opportunities. The writing program here at Hollins was really essential to my choosing to go here because the faculty is extremely supportive of a lot of writing styles and they really push you to be your best. This past January I wrote my first draft of a young adult novel so it was it was really hard to just sit down and accept that the first piece isn't going to be perfect but definitely coming here with your encouraging professors they tell you you know you just have to sit down and do it. It doesn't matter if it's perfect or not. My relationship with Judith Klein is like that of a colleague, an instructor, and a friend, and everything else. It's everything that you would want. And she has like her little bag of tricks where she'll pull out this and say, here, try this. And next thing you know, something beautiful is coming out. The theater is the quickest, best family you can get on this campus because they will always be there for you at all hours of the night because we're theater people. So we're used to being up at all hours of the night. My favorite class, one of them right now, is my senior thesis called Ideas and Practice for Art. It's, it's an experimental process and you gain ideas so that we can use all this information in our senior portfolios, which is our body of work that we work on all second semester and then it's going to be shown in a, a senior showing in our museum. It is bi-directional how you value yourself. I'm learning how to be an effective leader and a follower at the same time because it's, often it's really hard to juggle the two but I think especially through the Baton Leadership Program I get to know leaders aren't born they're made so that's one of the big things is just telling yourself that you can do it. The moment I stepped onto Holland campus, and you'll hear a lot of people say this, I knew that this is where I was supposed to be. It's breathtaking how beautiful it is. Now as a senior, I live in the main dorm, and uh, you know, I have a really nice room on front quad, and every morning I just wake up and look out on front quad, which, you know, there's the beautiful buildings and the grass and the trees. Residence halls for first year students are located on back quad, close to the athletic complex. I really like the room that I live in. Uh, Hollins has really great rooms, they're really big. And it's also nice because you have a lot of different girls and different personalities to kind of mingle with. Hollins is a Division three school. Swimming, I've been a captain for two years now. Next year will be my fourth and unfortunately final year within the program. Every year, our ranking in the ODAC has gone up. And then in lacrosse, it's a very young team. We have dancers, we have artists, we have writers, and they all just come in and be like, today I want to play lacrosse, today I want to be a team. Let's make this happen. I think that the riding program at Hollands is especially strong because we have four coaches. We have such amazing horses, which I think is hard to find at many colleges. And of course the facility is unbelievable, and that's one of the things that I looked at. Roanoke is this wonderful, little mecca of everything. There's art here, there's great food, there's culture. There's definitely something to do for anybody, whether you're into city things, there's a center in the square, there's a good theater, there's hundreds of coffee shops. <laughs> you know, there's great hiking in the area, um, which is something I love to do, and there's also climbing and you know, paddling, and if you're into outdoorsy stuff, this is definitely a good place to be. On campus, one of the top places you'll find me is hanging out with the people of the Hollands Outdoor Program. My main place is in women's kayaking. I recently got second in nationals. That was fun, and my medal is in the mail. I actually live in Sandusky, which is the specialty housing for service. All in that one house are involved in community service, and our goal is to get the Holland's community involved with community service as well. So we offer them opportunities, but we also go outside to the Roanoke community, and we do a lot of community service there as well. Around the late October, we had a very special tradition to us. It's called Tinker Day, and we all climbed Tinker Mountain, which is just behind campus. Faculty, people I respect, a president of the university, climbing a mountain and singing songs. 
And that was a traditional day in the life of Holland. And it was like, okay, this is where I'm supposed to be. I feel like a Holland's woman can do anything. I'm going to graduate school for a master's of music and classical voice and opera at Manhattan School of Music. A lot of companies have offered me a couple of different jobs. I'm interviewing with different people, and I think part of that is they're impressed with the leadership skills that I've acquired at Holland and the experience I have by my various internships. Next fall, I'm going to be starting at um, the Virginia Maryland Regional College of Veterinary Medicine. I was accepted into four different vet schools, and Virginia Maryland is where I'm going to end up, so I'm really excited about it. I do see a change in myself, and I wouldn't say, you know, is any of it attributed to Hollins. It's everything is attributed to Hollins. I have been able to travel to parts of the world that I never thought I'd travel to. I've made fantastic friends. I have written a book. It has been a monumental change. I have two little sisters who are starting to look at colleges, and I would just be the happiest person ever if they chose Hollins.